Good morning, we're so glad you're here. Our daily vlogs, if you like this video, come back tomorrow. And here's our lunch spread. We're we got, supposed to be at the beach hours ago. We still might go, but it's noon. So we got grapes, apples, takis, tostitos, pitas, hummus, salsa, guac. Delicious. I did something bad. I caused this to go down a three hour hole of just watching this this Netflix show called Ugly Delicious and it is it is amazing but I thought we were going to Cocoa Beach I thought so too I'm on the road again so we finally made it on the road to Atlantic Ocean. I've, we've never, I've never been in the Atlantic Ocean. Right. So, since moving down here, we've really only gone to the West Coast, the Gulf side. And it's not the West Coast, the West Coast of Florida. But it's 3 30 in the afternoon. Um, Why and, not? It's only just yeah. over an hour away. Right. It's not a minute drive. And so, we're just going to do it. We figured, like, when we didn't wake up this morning, early, early, because Eve was being extra cuddly, so we had to. <laughs> that opportunity it was like well we did our thing like had lunch watched some tv got the vlog set did some more organizing i planted some plans before we moved for the move and then it was like well by the time we get there it'll be almost dinner time but it means that like the we weren't there for the bulk of the heavy heavy sunlight right so it's just gonna be like a more calm it might rain i mean we're just gonna, gonna go in the ocean go with the flow i really want peter to go to ron john's surf shop for some reason i went High school. We've been to the Ron John golf set. I know. I don't know. I was just like, I feel like Cocoa Beach and this side is like just different. Um, and so it'll be fun. We'll probably just do some walking around and we packed some dinner. It'll be good. We have closed assembly building is <gasps> over there. Yes, the at, the, at the Kennedy Space Center is over there. Maybe, yeah. Oh, that big building? Yeah, that huge building over there. Yeah, okay, I saw And then there's a riverboat looking thing over there. Ooh! This turns ship. into Astronaut Boulevard. I've never seen a cruise ship I think I see one. in real life. So, hopefully we'll, hopefully see, we'll see one today. We made it, we made it. We're at Allen Shepard Park Boardwalk. There's the Atlantic Ocean. There's the, and there's a big boat out there. Really? Ooh, I've okay. So we've only experienced like this full beachiness when we went to Naples with the Sicards, and I forget that like we could be doing this a lot. Look at that cool oh cove. Oh. And I want to look because I think SpaceX had a launch that was delayed. I'm just what? like curious. We also have lawn chairs in there, but I feel like we need to get the beach laying on the beach vibe going. Okay. Wow. Oh, there's lots of people. The sign said beach current was our temperature was 85 degrees. Oh, this is the first time I've ever been in the Atlantic Beach. I'm so excited. Turtle nests? Must be. Turtle nests? Oh, there's like real waves. These waves are much bigger than well, any of the other times I've seen at the Gulf. Okay, so on top of it being the first time Sarah's ever seen a cruise ship in her life, there's a cruise ship leaving port right now. That is insane. I don't think Sarah and I realize what we've gotten ourselves into. Come January. How does it work? It's a big floating building. Red right, well, jumpsuit. <laughs> I do have a red jumpsuit. We're about to go out and check out the water. I don't think I'm gonna bring my phone. Maybe I will. Maybe not. Are we? No, yet this time because we're gonna go like in it, right? Yeah. Guess what? I hate the ocean. <laughs> and then we'll come back. I hate salt water. Sarah made like Asian zingy pasta. We're gonna come back and eat that. All the lifeguards are leaving, so I hope I don't get trapped by the riptide. That boat is big and it is leaving. Check it out. Goodbye, cruisers. Enjoy your endless buffets. Oh, they were all red unexpectedly. <laughs> Realize I probably should capture your very first time in the Atlantic Ocean. A few moments later. You'll notice nobody's in the water right now. We were just in the water for like 15 minutes. So we're in the water having like a cackling fun time because I think this is like way different than the Gulf, and I've never been to this side. It's like way more wavy, way more foam, way more beachy than I think. Part like Pixar, like, clear too. like the Pixar movie with yeah. the birds is like happening right now. 
way less clear. All of a sudden we're out there like laughing because we can't feel, like it would like, feel so weird to have the seaweed wrap around your toes, creeping me out. We're at the spot where the waves are like literally breaking and we start walking out because we, we were creeped up by the seaweed. We were gonna go back in and all of a sudden we heard the lifeguard blowing his whistle and like, motioning, the, like this. motioning like that. And I was like, I think he's saying there's a shark and all of a sudden we all got out and it's like six, like 5.30. All the lifeguards are about to get off duty. And all of a sudden, literally, like five to ten feet past where we were standing, we see a shark. Like a legitimate shark. There is two. I think there was two. I'm gonna see if we can spot them. So I didn't have my cell phone with us, so it's a bummer. But like we literally first time in the Atlantic side. I'm over here freaking out because like this water. Right, it's in the shark week. The water we're we're in right now touches the UK. Touches Spain. Like that's what like freaks me out. Iceland, Greenland, Canada, all the way up to New York, like and we see a, a shark. But like now the lifeguards just like left. They're like, all right, we're off duty, bye. So what happens now? Like when is it okay? It's like social engineering. Like once people start to go back in, others will because like right now everyone's, well now there are people in the water. Right, but like they weren't by the lifeguards. Like if we showed up right now, we'd have no idea what just happened. No one's here like, oh, no good, no good. That was awesome. <laughs> yes, you saw that earlier, that cruise ship that was left over there is now over there. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can try to spot it. It's hard to see because like you don't see the fin. Like it was sticking out by the waves. It wants to get hit, but it was like 20, 30 feet from the shore here. It was like where we were. Loving the nature. Look at these pelicans. I've never seen a pelican out in the wild in real life like that. And these, these like the Pixar short. We realize though that we think the wave run out there is scaring. They're trying to scare the sharks away, and that's why there's like the ATV over there, which is definitely not pedestrian. Which makes sense, we heard the whistle blowing from down there first and then trail this way before the lifeguards left. But this is so, I think this is a, for me I know I've only been like less than five or six times to the ocean, either Gulf or Atlantic side, but this is like a way cooler to me kind of experience. We did come in like not a busy day and overcast, which is good. The water's 85 and awesome. We're coming to the beach all the time. Yeah. It's just, like a nice it's just nice to stroll. And like, it's really close to Disney. It was like an hour and 15 minute drive. Yeah. So it's really not bad. It's like, that's like traffic going downtown. I think we missed our chance because like, I mean, every, most of the people are out of the water still, but the ATV is gone and I think the wave runner is like almost done. It's way out there. We've just been walking the coast. We might sit for a little bit and then see about walking over to Cocoa Beach Pier. We went, uh, I was kind of gotten hopeful because when I go run in the treadmill, there's like a TV on at the news usually. And I saw like SpaceX launch postponed. And we just looked it up and they're doing testing right now for an August 6th. So two days from now, they might be ready to launch because it's like right over there. It would have been so cool to see a launch from Cocoa Beach rather than the middle of the state. Cause I think they're beautiful from central Florida by the parks, let alone right here, like miles away. Yeah.
to be with me all the time. Yeah, that too. And look at the sun's finally coming out, and this is gorgeous. I mean, like, we're not going to get an ocean sunset, but maybe next time we can get an ocean sunrise. If we ever wake up once in our lives. If our dog wasn't super snuggly and cute. Guys, I found a crab home. It's big, too. Maybe it'll come out right here. It was big. Wait, I found another hole. Look at this beach vibe right here. We just found crabs and that was fun. That was fun. Had a good relaxing time. And now we're gonna go check out this pier. We have an hour left of our parking. So enough time to go check it out real quick and then head on back to our car. If you're interested in coming here, we parked right by the Allen, Allen Shepherd Beach or whatever. Um, and it was two fifty per hour, two dollars and fifty cents per hour, or fifteen dollars for a full day. Which isn't bad. I mean, I still think of like downtown Chicago parking. So that, that would have been like fifty to seventy-five dollars for all day. And we did the hourly. We ended up paying ten bucks. Right, so we're just here for hours. Yeah. Here we are. I think we should walk to like the end yeah. and walk it because we know it ends with a fancy bar. Our friends Lou and Hannah posted about it, so we might have to check that out. But it looking, it's looking fancy, looking like some bars and restaurants and fun stuff, you know. I was an avid the OC watcher growing up, and this right here. Like being able to go underneath the pier right there with all those pillars, which I've never done before, is just like, I'm like living a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's not real. Yeah. Let's go in. This is so fancy. Look at the water just splashing the poles over there. I love it. Sarah, this is great. Can I go up here? Yeah. Westgate Resorts, Cocoa Beach Pier, come back soon. Oh, they got shaved ice right here at Coney Island, Nathan's famous Coney Island hot dog. Sea Dog Soda, it says on the other side. We're gonna walk this uh, pier here. Some history, Space Center, City, Air Force Base. So beautiful. You can eat out right here over the water. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. Yeah. And look at sun setting. Did we not here for a, a, a launch? Oh my gosh. We should just come back on no. Tuesday. Fish. Gosh. And here's this little tavern at the end. Here's the rainbow. It's like one of the most powerful rainbows. I've ever seen. Yeah. That's a good Crazy. rainbow. We're walking That's through sky. so many bugs. Oh, gosh. Sunset is like unreal. I see red, orange, yellow, mm -hmm. purple, blue. It's incredible. Yeah. Thanks for going. We, I can't believe like it was such a fun and relaxing time and we mm -hmm. almost did it. We were so close to not going. Right. I didn't think we were going. Mm -hmm. We straight up like slept way later than we thought we would just hung out ended up watching all that that TV and I was on um, FaceTime with Christina my sister and I was like Peter are we gonna go to the beach he's like no and I was like what and it was like it was just so late so I'm just so happy that it worked out well it just goes to show like we talked about how living here and living where we live we're a little over an hour away right. we give ourselves an hour to go to our fertility doctor so like to add 15 minutes to get to the yeah. beach like like that's right. the benefit like we don't have to be here right when the sun comes up all day like we can come enjoy and a couple right, hours and, and relax and just like soak it up like I feel like maybe that's just like we're used to longer drives places because of living in Chicago and also enjoying car rides like we're not like we're, we're road trip people um, but it's so worth it to us and we'll definitely be back because right. we want to go to all the other little places but it was um the perfect amount of time for just like a little getaway whoa 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 
you know what this means. We are home. It is August 4th. Our message is from Robin Williams. You will have bad times, but they will always wake you up to the stuff you weren't paying attention to. I did a grown-up... What did you call it a grown-up thing? Yeah. So I'm like five or six weeks into my training block, my training schedule for the 50K. I have not missed a day. I've moved around days, but I've not missed a run. And I think tonight is the first time I like cut a run. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to run eight miles today. I'm going to move that to tomorrow, but tomorrow I was supposed to run four miles. So I'm, To like a makeup for a different yes, run. Yes, so some. I'm cutting a four mile run. Unless I feel really good later this week and I like add four miles to one of my runs, which I don't think I'm going to do because I don't want to no, overdo okay. it. No, you got to listen. You got to so, take care of you. And for anybody who's done any kind of training or thinking about doing training, like that's okay to cut runs. Like I think I, re I read a study once. It's like the best athletes or even like the best people who do training schedules like you can call it a successful training schedule if you listen to like 60 to 70 percent of the training yeah and i've been at i haven't missed a day in five or six weeks and i guess every other time that you've missed a day you fall off the wagon and you're not going to you can't i'm gonna run tomorrow big run so once tomorrow comes mm -hmm. you'll feel better so we came home and we Got ourselves all situated out of our so sandy sand. clothes. Um, played with Eve. We had a little snack. Started watching Sissy Hood of Traveling Pants. But Eve has this wrapped around her finger, and she was in, she was ready for bed, and she did not want to sleep out there. She was barking at barking the door. Barking at the door. Wanted to go to sleep. Open up the door. Doesn't want to go in there without us. So our weekend's over, which mm -hmm. is okay. Yeah. Cannot believe we saw a shark today. I know that's crazy. And those cute I little crabs. I wish we got it for the vlog. I know. Oh, we, I don't think we said this though. We think we only saw one shark oh, yeah. because what we thought were the two dorsal fins was the one dorsal fin and tail. So we saw the, the fin and the tail, mm -hmm. but it was probably like a four and a half to five and a half foot long shark then, mm -hmm. but that's still crazy. Mm -hmm. There's like that, then Sarah found an article from a Cocoa Beach sighting like oh, two week weeks ago. ago or a week or two yeah. ago. Like I guess it's like a, ta a period of time where there are a lot of sightings. So. Yeah. But that literally <laughs> made my... my nine-year-old peter self like used to watch shark week before shark week was like a cool thing to do <laughs> yeah back when i was a little boy yeah it's good to be it's home. good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at walt disney productions <laughs>